Now we're with Herman from Wild Flight Farm. Now, I'm kind of surprised to see this many vegetables and fruit uh, on display in the middle of winter. Well, a lot of the things are grown locally and some things we also buy a few extra things in to just add a little bit more diversity so it makes it worth coming down. Now you've got uh, everything from carrots, of course, those, those, those stay pretty good. What, where are these from? Yeah, carrots are grown in Grunrod. Uh, we have a local organic farmer there that can grow carrots really well, so we help him out and buy his carrots and s resell them. Uh, the apples come from the Similkameen Valley. It's the sort of biggest fruit growing area for organic, for organic fruit. Um, pears you got, are from Winfield. You've got your, uh, your squashes here, of Squash course. Squash are our own. They're from our own farm in Mara. Same with the rutabaga. Now this is one that I that I caught my eye on there, celeriac. Now what's that? Celeriac. Another word for it is uh, celery root, mm -hmm. and uh, it's great. It's just the, the root version of celery, and it's great in salads. Anything you'd use celery in, you can just grate this in, and it stores really well in your fridge and keeps all winter. So we can have celery all winter long without having to import it. We have two greens that uh, grow in unheated uh, greenhouses. Unheated? Yeah, there's no heat at all, so it doesn't, uh, there's no fossil fuels involved in trying to keep them alive. They can, the, the unique thing about these two is this corn salad, in French it's called mash, and uh, claytonia is that they can freeze solid. If it goes to minus 20, it's no problem. We can't harvest them when it's frozen, but as soon as it thaws again, they just recover and uh, we can harvest them and have them available all winter long. Now my mind is worrying with what I might be able to make from here, so I'm going to start thinking up some recipes. Uh, you know, take a squash yeah. and uh, make a meal out of that. There's lots of squash recipes or the simplest thing like here, spaghetti squash is really easy. Just slice it in half lengthways, bake it and it becomes your spaghetti and you can put a spaghetti sauce on top of it. But they, it kind of breaks apart in strands like spaghetti. so it's. Really easy. You've got your vegetable built right into your meal that way.